Well, here we are today for uh, another round of uh, Reading Pop Warner A football. We're out here in Lemonster, just uh, I think east of Iowa, just, just barely. <laughs> but in uh, low 40 degree weather, it, the snow is swirling out here, believe it or not, for mid October tilt with the uh, Northern Middlesex Cowboys. You can see the captains at midfield. It's some of the walking wounded uh, Colin Duras, Brendan De Silva, and Jack Blumenshine. But, uh, you know, the name of the game for the Reading Rockets is next man up. They've got 17 here in uniform today ready to play. Uh, they have to have at least 16 uh, to continue the game. So hopefully uh, that, you know, no, no more injuries. Rockets need to get healthy. But beyond that, they've got a tough opponent today in the uh, Northern Middlesex Cowboys, a, a team, a bunch of big kids. Uh, they, they've got a decent record this year. And uh, a team we don't know a whole lot about. We haven't seen them in previous years. Uh, the earlier games today, both the D team, the Reading Rockets lost, the C team got crushed, and then the Bs came back with a, uh, a three touchdown victory over uh, Northern Middlesex. So if that's any indicator, we should see uh, uh, some good football here today. Reading uh, has had, Coach Geiger has had to teach a few new uh, backfield formations, the, uh, the place system, install the offense. You'll see a lot of Evan Panucci and a lot of Evan Long today, I'm sorry, Jared Panucci and Evan Long, number eight and number nine. Uh, from time to time, I maybe get, get confused on their numbers in the backfield. We'll also see a lot of Dan McGrath, I would imagine, maybe some BJ. Last week, the Rockets had uh, three new players uh, score touchdown or had their first touchdown. Devin Long, yeah. Jared Panucci, and Ben Mason all scored for the first time. Um, you're seeing a very diverse team, a team that a lot of different people can score. The Rockets are going to kick off initially, going from right to left on your screen. Um, Christian Charter, number 43, with, will, will kick it off. Christian boots it on the ground for an onside kick. The ball's on the ground. Looks like uh, Middlesex got it for a minute there. It looked Ooh. like B.J. Gemilaro was going to get his hands on it. It just skittered away from him. I think 56 recovered for uh, the uh, Northern Middlesex team. Their uniforms remind me a lot of a Boise State yeah. with that blue and orange. Initially here we've got uh, Thomas Keene and Don DiCrescenzo in the A gaps, B gaps. You got Vinny Sullivan. You got uh, um, Chris Tuli on the line there as well, number 84. There's the snap and the handoff goes up the middle over the right side. He's uh, dragged down by uh, number 12, Dan McGrath. Makes a lot of the tacklers, probably one of the leading tacklers on the team from the linebacker position. Brings up second and six. At the end's position, we've got uh, 65, Trevor Zupan. We've got uh, 44, Jason Conroy. On the outside, Jay Kajander, number 64. And it looks as though it's uh, number eight, Jared Panucci. Uh, you have Ben Mason at the linebacker position along with BJ, number seven. Ready to really play with a deep safety. Under center for the quarterback for Northern Middlesex. He takes a snap, the fakes the pitch, gives it to 89 on the counter. He's uh, dragged down after first down gain by B.J. Gemilaro. The fake pitch and the counter to a big running back there by Northern Middlesex. And the ball's on the 43 yard line of the Rockets. Cowboys uh, break the huddle under center here. We had all sorts of movement. There was an offside by the Bron by the Cowboys, but uh, truly was offside as well. So we'll see if they give it a false start. All right, five. They'll back the Cowboys up five yards. First and fifteen. From the forty-nine, they split two receivers out to the right.
There's the handoff to the deep back, 27. He cuts it off to the left. He's got room to run. He's got some speed. Yes, Brought down by B.J. Gemolaro at the 32. He's got first down yardage. He saw a gap out to the left, and he accelerated. Looks like these guys have some skill players. They do. Assignment of football today will be big. First and 10. Uh, different formations we've seen so far from these Cowboys. They've got three backs in the backfield here. The handoff to uh, 89. He's uh, wrapped up by Dan McGrath. Very minimal gain there. Maybe he got to the 30. Brings up second and down. Second and nine now for the Cowboys. An I formation. He's going to pass. He's got a man deep. The ball's up. Conway in coverage. Oh, he took it right, out, right over him. Conway is right with him all the way. But a beautiful pass and a catch by number 12, and the Cowboys score first. He's got to turn his head on that one. Really a difficult catch yeah. right over the uh, defender. So another Middlesex lines up to kick the two-point conversion. They're doing all the things that successful Pop Warner teams do. He gets it up. He's got a big wow. leg. That kick is uh, through and good. There's a flag on the play after the play. With no net behind that goal post, <laughs> I don't know where that ball went. It's deep in the forest. I hope they have extras. So uh, they're on the extra point try, there was a uh, running into the kicker personal foul penalty on the Rockets. That uh, means that they're going to kick from the 45 of Redding rather than their own 40. Uh, after the touchdown, Coach Geiger called the team over and just told them basically, this thing is for real. Yeah. we got to get our heads together right now. Big 26 for the Ooh. Cowboys. Look Ready at the kick size off. of this kicker. He's huge. Gives it a boot. That could go out of bounds. It's going to go out at the 20. So that'd be a penalty on the Cowboys. Rockets will take the ball first and 10 with their wide offense package. Dan McGrath, number 12, with the play call. Be a good test for the Rockets here today. They're going to have to yep. bring it. They're going to have to bring it. BJ in the backfield with Dan. The snap to McGrath. He takes it up the middle. Buster, oh. he got tripped up. He could have gotten more, but he got five on the play. Decent play on first down. Chris Julie centering the line here, number 84. Got Don DiCrescenzo, 32, right tackle. There's the snap to Ben Mason. He makes a cut. He's bust right through the middle. Hold on to the ball, dragging Cowboys all the way for first down yardage to the 45-yard line, 44 of the, uh, uh, the Cowboys. So some smash mouth football today yeah. by the Rockets. Keep it on the ground, do what they do best. Big, tough, fast runners. BJM with the call here. On the line there, uh, left guard, 70 Zach Barbo. There's the snap. BJ takes it up the middle, makes a cut. Eludes one tackler, still on his feet. He's got probably about eight yards. I see a flag on the far side of the field. It's a hold on the Rockets. Mm. Negating a, a nice first run, first down run. First and 20 for the Rockets now after the uh, hold. They called on Lucas Lorenzo, number 24. He's in on the line at this point. 64, Trevor Zupan on the right wing back. 
Matt Hammond, number 50, split out wide left. There's a snap. Dan McGrath takes over the left-hand side. Follows some blockers, but number two is able to mm. fight off a block and uh, tackle him short of the uh, line of scrimmage. So that brings up second and 22. Second and 17 here for uh, the Rockets. Ben Mason back there with uh, Dan McGrath. The snap goes to him. He follows on the right-hand side. He's trying to get around the edge. He uh, meets him. <laughs> it's a big collision out there on the right-hand side. He's able to pick up about five on the carry. But third and still very long, about third and 13. Strong. Up the middle, we found some running room. Evan Long, number nine, right wing back at this point. Jim Malaro and Mason in the backfield. There's a snap. BJ takes it off right tackle. He finds a little room, makes a move. He's able to get uh, maybe six on the carry. It's going to bring up fourth and nine. Uh, the way the Rockets are playing, I bet they uh, don't punt, but um, try and get the yardage. Yeah. It's like fourth and seven. Cowboys have big number two out there making a lot of plays. He's in a deep safety position here. Big tall player. So on the hard count, Dan Neely drew some of the Cowboys off, but he did not. When he didn't, Coach Geiger called the timeout. Reading Rockets come to the line, fourth and seven. Evan Long in the backfield with Dan McGrath. Christian Trauger split out wide right. There's a snap. Dan takes it himself up the middle. Breaks nice. one tackle. Break. A great run by Dan McGrath over the 35-yard line. Should have the first down. And the official signals first down nice at the 33. Nice job, Way to keep the drive alive. Tough running by Dan McGrath. Good blocks up the middle. We're seeing more uh, space for them to run in the middle than yeah. on the outside. Yeah, the pursuit of the defense, east and west, is, is probably too much today. <laughs> yep. So with that uh, fourth down conversion, first down pickup for the Rockets, that uh, ended the first quarter, a game that was uh, dominated by long drives. Um, we're still on the first drive of the game for the Rockets as we start the second quarter. First and 10 from the 33-yard line. McGrath and Long in the backfield right now. There's a snap. The fake handoff on the reverse, and Dan McGrath still on his feet, pulling defenders down to the 25-yard line, 26. Nice run by Dan McGrath. Hard-fought yards here today for him. Knocked the stuffing out of a defense who just smashed mouth just right down the field on him. Second and, and maybe three and a half, four yards. Yep. During warm-ups into the previous game, we had snow squalls here today, Adam. <laughs> yes. It's crazy. Not expecting to see that. Jake Jander in motion. The snap to Dan McGrath up the middle. He's met by 84 right away. Still is able to pull forward for a couple of yards. Not a third down. A lot of big boys in the day. Uh, who wants it more is going to. Yep. Number eight in with the play. We've got third and two. Snap to Finucci. Follows the block over the right-hand side. Is able to get a couple yards down to the 22. Looks like they've got the first down. Nice run over right tackle. First down. After a short 
play off Dan McGrath back in with the play. He's not feeling 100% today, which uh, makes you appreciate his uh, gutty running even more. Yeah. Kajander in motion. Dan Evan Long gets the handoff, follows Dan McGrath's block to the outside, able to stay on his feet and pick up eight yards. He's still on his feet. He's down past first down yardage within the 10, down to about the six yard line. Breaking arm tackles Evan Long over the left hand side. First down. Dan McGrath in with the play call. You got Matt Gorman out there at left tackle, number 23. Made some big blocks on that last play. Christian Charger split wide out to the right. We've got six yards for the first down. Dan McGrath up the middle. Crawls down to about the, uh, the four, it looks like. Second down and goal. This could be a game where the extra points make a big difference. Absolutely. If they were able to kick their two, we need to kick our two. Yeah. Not a fun day to be kicking a football either. No. <laughs> it is cold. Oh, oh we got movement. Which maybe is better than the uh, fumbled snap that uh, that occurred. <laughs> so that's going to make it hard, though. Second and goal from the nine. <laughs> from the ten for Reading Rockets. They've got to push this in. Yeah. It's definitely four down territory. Coach Geiger calls timeout. He saw something that wasn't right in the formation. This has been about a 14-play uh, drive <laughs> already, I think. Yeah. Maybe more. Yeah. Second drive of the game, and we're <laughs> midway through the second quarter here. Yeah, that's right. But keeps that, uh, you know, strong Cowboys offense off the field. Yeah. The longer we keep their defense on the field, yeah. you know. Yeah. Make them defend. Here. Stop that. What's that? Second and 10. Conroy looks a little cold out there on the left wing, left yeah. tight end. What happened oh. here? We've got a flag on the Rockets. It looks like procedure. As he was motioning, Coach Geiger was saying, no, 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 no. Yeah, a little confusion. But, you know, you expect that when you have so many of your, your backfield guys out today. That's right. Yeah, guys playing different positions. Yep. Uh, well, Rockets are making it difficult here. They've got to get 15 yards. They need this touchdown here in the first half. Yep. So they work the same play here that they've been trying to play for a couple plays, or are they going to uh, do something different? There's a snap to Dan McGrath. He blasts up the middle right into two tacklers, but he – Makes it down to at least the 10. Five-yard pickup, bringing up third down. Do that two more times, we'll be in the end zone. <laughs> Doesn't shy from a hit. He, no. He delivers kick. the blow. Yeah. The Right-hand side of the line there, you got uh, Conroy, DiCrescenzo, and Mason right to left. We got timeout on the Broncos. They saw wow. that we were a little un uh, Cowboys. We were a little unbalanced on the right side. Strong that way. That would have been a good play for us. Reading Rockets come out now. Third and and goal from the ten. Nothing extremely glamorous or pretty in this drive. <laughs> this is not the Baylor Bears, but uh, very effective. Run it right up the middle. We got McGrath and Long in the backfield. The snap from Chuli. And the handoff to Evan Long. He's darting around. He, he's able to make a move and get about five yards down to at least the six. 
Bring up fourth down. He found his way. This is it right here, fourth yeah. and goal from the five. They've been averaging about five yards a pop these last couple of plays. They need to get there. Like you said, kickoff, whoever wants it more, whoever this is one of those right plays. Yeah. See the, that line drive off right now and move that pile. Barbara Juan Hammond off. They hustle to the line. The snap to McGrath. He follows the army on the left hand side. He's trying to get to the outside, being chased by number two. He's, He's in for in. the touchdown. Nice. Damn McGrath. First to the outside around the left end. Everyone held their blocks. He was able to outrace the Cowboys' best tackler, number two, and get for the touchdown. So, as we were saying, these extra points are key in this game where there's got to be many opportunities to score. The first year uh, kicker. Jason Conroy there on the hold. The snap by Dan McGrath. Are we on? Yep. Lucas Lorenzo, number 24, uh, uh, hustles on for uh, Ben Mason, who I think did not have a, a mouthpiece, mouth guard. The kick is up. Just to the left. It had the distance. It had the height. But it went left. So that makes it 8-6. to six. So to recap that drive by the Rain Rockets, it started on their own 30. They traveled 70 yards for the field, but more like 90 yards because they overcame uh, three penalties, uh, 20 yards. So they had 90 plays. 90 yards in about uh, 15, 16 plays. Yeah. They converted two fourth downs on the drive. Did what they needed to do. Did what they needed. They put punched in the end zone. But they find themselves down two. They got to keep the Cowboys off the board here. Yeah. There's the boot. And it's up in the air. Oh. It's a scrum. That ball is a – who recovered that onside kick? Yeah. Redding ball, Redding ball. Huge. Who comes up with it? 65, 65, Trevor Zupan. That's a key play right there if the Rockets can punch it in before the half. The Cowboys may not have much time. I tell you what, we've had the ball now for at least half an hour, yeah. and the Cowboys have to be tired of playing defense. Very good onside kick by Christian Trager. The initial man, it popped off his chest up in the air. Zupan came down with it. Rockets uh, start on the 47-yard line of the uh, North Middlesex Cowboys. In the background is B.J. Gemolaro. He, uh, the snap goes to McGrath. He's over a right tackle. Oh. He's met immediately two Cowboys defenders. Wow. About to the uh, line of scrimmage. Looks like they're giving him half a yard. Need a push on that uh, offensive line here for the Reading Rockets. Yeah. Zupan over here on right wing. But it goes to the left, BJ Gemilaro. He's oh. tripped up in the backfield, loss of five on the play. Third and 15, coach puts in a different package. Matt Gorman goes out, Jason Conroy, Christian Trauger. Lorenzo off, Zupan off. Looks like he just signaled two-minute warning. 
Two minute warning. Points here would be huge. Even just to eat the rest of the clock yeah. and be right there at halftime uh, without the Cowboys having another chance to touch the ball here. Yeah. North and south. I mean, that's where. That's right. Well, we've had it today. Third and 14 at this point. Look at this. Ben Mason split out wide right. That's different. I think they're coming to the right. The oh, pass, pass to Evan Long. Mason gets a nice block, and Evan's on his way. He makes a stutter step, and he's dragged out of the 25 wow. by number 26. A great play there that picked up about uh, 25 yards. They split Ben Mason out wide right to uh, pro produce that block on the bubble screen. They only had put one defender out there in coverage. Yeah. So there was all sorts of room for Evan once he caught it. A well-designed play, a good throw by Dan McGrath. Yeah, you don't expect Dan to throw. You know, that's usually a Duras play or a Silva, De De Silva, Silva play. Right. Great play. Great time to call that. First and ten. <laughs> Similar formation, but uh, they split out wide left. They've got uh, Hammond and Gorman. There's the snap. The deep pass by Dan McGrath. There's a beauty of a Whoa. pass caught by Ben Mason for the touchdown. Wow. Dan can throw. He put How that on the line. No one. Ben Mason found himself wide open out there on the touchdown reception, making it 12 to 8 Reading Rockets. I tell you, these kids have been resilient all year long. Next man up. Next man up. <laughs> good play call, good play call. All right, Christian Trager on his second attempt here at a two-point extra point. Score right now is 12 to 8. There's the hold. This kick is up and through good. for two, making it 14 to 8, Reading Rockets. That kick was true. Good field and hold, good, uh, good snap. Here we go, Rockets. They're fired up right now. One, three. So with uh, a minute and a half remaining in the first half, the Rockets are here to kick to the Cowboys. They boot another onside kick. That one is fielded successfully at the uh, on the Rockets' side of the 50 at the 49. Mm. So we're going to have to hold them here with uh, a minute and a half remaining that the Cowboys have touched the football since uh, about halfway through the first quarter. Opening drive. Here come the Cowboys. They come out in that formation with uh, two wide receivers split wide right. Quarterback under center. He's got two backs behind him. They have sometimes thrown you know, this. They're going to throw it. Oh, it. He takes it, scrambles. He gets a pass off, number 12, across the middle. He's brought down after a 14-yard uh, uh, catch and run. Very effective on first down. Yeah. The Cowboys from the 35-yard line of Redding. Yeah, receivers split out wide left and two out wide right. Panucci's back deep for the Rockets in a safety position. As number two steps back to pass, he's going to run. He doesn't see anything. He's dragged down by Ben Mason from behind after a pickup of about three yards. Somebody lost a shoe on the play. Timeout by the Cowboys. <laughs> oh, that was the quarterback's shoe. <laughs> Mason did a nice job in uh, picking that play up from behind, not letting him get away. Good coverage downfield, too. Absolutely. Cowboys break the huddle second and six.
Rockets still have Panucci out deep in center. There's a snap. Two rolls out to his right. Looking for a man. He's got one deep. And a great play, a break up there. I think that was Dan McGrath, number 12, breaking that pass up to 26 from the Cowboys. So that brings up a third down and six. The pass was on time, but so was Dan. You know, there's a question if he'd even play today, and he's played yeah. well. Yeah. They're uh, featuring the arm of number two, their quarterback on this drive. This time he fakes the handoff. He's looking to throw, coming from behind Kajander. That ball is incomplete, throwing out of the backfield to number 27. Another second, Jay was going to uh, tackle him there behind the line. But it brings up fourth down and six. Here comes North Middlesex quickly to the line, breaking the huddle. Quarterback under center. The snap, the handoff up the middle. He's got room to run. He's dragged down by Ben Mason. But I think they got first down yardage. The, the Cowboys hustle to the, to the line here. And you can't Clock see this at home. A minute. They're right behind the pole. And he snaps and he, he spikes the ball number two like a, a seasoned veteran quarterback. That brings up second down and 10. Hey, you know, I saw last week on YouTube, a high school players doing that in the uh, nose tackle defensive lineman, dove under the lineman, wow. intercepted the pass. Unbelievable. Second and ten. Eye formation behind number two under center. You don't see too many of these teams under center with their quarterback. This is a veteran quarterback. He uh, fakes the handoff. He's looking to throw. He scrambles to the outside. A little bit of pressure. That ball goes out of bounds. The pressure forced him to make not a best throw. I think that was Evan Long out there at number nine on the end. Third down and ten. Break the huddle now, third and 10. Same formation, I formation, two wide receivers stacked about right. There's a snap, fake. He's looking to throw, he's got time. The ball's up and it's in, oh, it's knocked away. Panucci there in defense. Looked like he had a chance, but he knocked it down. So that brings up fourth and 10. Coach exhorting the team with one more play. It's been mostly the passing offense here for the uh, Cowboys so far. They quickly break the huddle and hustle up to the line. Fake pass. He's going deep. He's got a man. That ball is. Overthrown, number 88, falls harmlessly in the end zone. Rockets ball here late in the first half. Nice stand by the defense. They got used to those uh, those plays. It was uh, a lot of um, a lot of bootleg right, a lot of play action pass. And uh, uh, in coverage, you had Gemolaro, you had Panucci, Ben Mason. And uh, they wouldn't, you know, there was not a lot of daylight for those receivers. Reading ball here, first and 10 behind the pole <laughs> in the 23 yard line. He just takes a knee as they're gonna head off into the uh, locker room for halftime up by six. Rockets get the ball first in the second half with a, uh, as they sport a six point lead. 
way to come from behind after uh, you know falling down in the first drive. Yep. As we get ready for the second half of uh, football here with the Rockets holding a 14-8 lead, coach has prepared the boys for an onside kick attempt here, potentially here to start the second half. I'm on the front hand, front line. We've got DiCrescenzo, Mason, Chuli, Hammond, Gorman, and Zupan. It's booted up the middle, off of Chuli's hands. Dan McGrath picks it up, and he's still on his feet. But just the ability to even get the ball there was the key thing. So the Rockets will start with the ball on the 36-yard line. First half, Rockets featured a heavy dose of smash mouth football. Five yards and a cloud of dust. Oh, yeah. Which is just fine with the way this game has been so far. We're going from uh, left to right on your screen. Looks like they uh, left the kickoff tee on the field. They hope, did at the 40th. Hope, hope that doesn't come into play. Someone gets hurt. Good spot by you, Adam. Just trying to be your eye, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> We've got the analysis. We've got Trogger <laughs> and uh, Conroy out wide right. Hammond and uh, Gorman out wide left. The snap and uh, up the middle, Dan McGrath, he boosted over the right-hand side. Meets number two there, but he's able to get down to the uh, 47 yard line. A great pickup on first down. He got first down yardage. Here we go now. First and 10 from the 47. There's a snap on one. Evan Long runs into number 99. He's dropped with a, a loss on the on the play of a yard. Second down now and uh, 12 yards for the Reading Rockets. There's a snap to uh, Evan Long and comes around right hand side. He fouls his blockers. Cuts Mason back. he cuts it back. He's able to get a nice pickup on the play of about eight. He found some room, cutting it back to the left side. In three for the Rockets now, Dan McGrath in with the play. Coach is calling for the boys to be uh, more physical, make these blocks downfield. Kajander with motion. It goes right to McGrath. He goes up the middle. He's met immediately and, mm. and tackled. Fourth down, 45. Did you get the record for North Middlesex? Are they also four and one? They are four and one, yeah. To match up here are two four and one teams. Oh, the snap. Evan Long is going to be dropped short after the snap went through his hands. So the Cowboys will take over in Rockets territory at the 45. Playing in cold weather introduces some uh, different aspects of football. The ball doesn't even feel right in your hands sometimes. The hits hurt a little bit more sometimes in the cold weather. Yep. Vincent Sullivan down there in the A-gap right now. There's the snap, number 27, bounce it off right tackle. He's got some room to run, being chased downfield. Can Trevor Zupan get him? No one's going to touch him for a touchdown for North Middlesex. They came out here in the second half ready to play. Yep. Makes it 14 to 14, and this extra point, there's a lot riding on this next extra point. Well, big number 26 for the extra point. Last time he made it with no problem at all. The quarterback is the holder number two. Oh, oh. it was uh, locked. Locked. The rocket surged in there for the, the block attempt. 
Who got that? Was that number? That was Mason. Good Mason. Yeah. Number 54. Well, that's great. That that makes it a tie game at 14. It's on now. Each team's had the the ball here in the second half. Rockets will get it here. Who can uh, who can win the rest of the game? Yep. Right now, these boys got to get their hands out of their sleeves, and everyone needs to be ready for that ball to come to them. Always the possibility of a squib kick or an onside kick. Yep. Here it comes. It's booted deep down the middle. Evan Longs will get a chance. Pick it. Oh, you got to lay on that. He tried to pick oh. it up. There was a man there with it. I think the I think the Rockets came up with it. Oh. Uh, number two. Got, came away with the ball. Evan Long tried to pick it up and run with it and could not. Two stole it away from him. The uh, scoreboard operator has prematurely <laughs> given uh, the Cowboys six points. They don't get six points for recovering the ball there. So it's it's 14 to 14 right now. First and 10 from the 23-yard uh, line. This is a time where the Rockets defense need to come up and uh, they need to come up stout right here. Everything going the Cowboys way right now. He hands it to the deep man. Number 27 busts it to the left hand. He scored before, he scores again. Now it's 20 to 14. Everything going the Cowboys way. The Rockets look cold and disoriented. Cowboys here for the uh, extra point try. Last one's blocked. That one is up and no good. Wide right. 20 to 14 now, Rockets. Uh, uh, neat, actually, they're down six. Flag on the play. Oh, oh. offsides on the defense. So the Cowboys are going to get a second chance. Line up for the second attempt. The flag's up again. BJ was off sides. This one is through, so they'll wave off the penalty. Makes it 22 to 14. They've uh, come out so flat here in the second half. Yeah, you, you know, they dominated the ball the, the whole first half, the yeah. possession. You would expect them to come out and a little more fire. Right. Uh, but, you know, it's adversity now. How, how are you going to respond? Yeah. But talk about number 27 on the last two plays. We didn't see yeah. much of him in that first half. Right. Uh, but a few big plays from him. He can really run. Yeah. And uh, he, both plays, he broke it outside, once to the right, once to the left. No one home on the back side on nope. that second play. Assignment football. <laughs> but, you know, with all that being said, we're only down one score. So yeah. we'll see what the what the guys do here. Well, it starts with catching the ball yeah. and uh, getting this ball back to the offense. Yeah. Just lay on it. It's up in the air. It's going to hit the ground. BJ's got it on the run. Uh -oh. He's busted on the left-hand side. No one's going to catch him. He is gone. Touchdown, BJ Gemolaro. That turns the game. The Just like him. that. Just like that. 22 to 20. Took one bounce. He caught it on a run, and he was gone. Off to the races. Playmakers make plays. The kick, 
and it's blocked by the Cowboys, so that makes it 22 to 20. Well, a critical play in the first half was after the first Reading Rockets scored, they recovered the onside kick. Um, you know, that could really turn this around here in the second half as well. Christian Charter ready to kick. We've got uh, six to his left. There's the boot. It's on the ground. The ball's loose. Oh, it's up. It's looks like a cowboy fell in it at the 42, but it was close. Yeah. Rockets were there. <laughs> Cowboys ball, first and 10 at the 41 yard line. In the A gap there, we've got Thomas Keene, number 40. We've got Vincent Sullivan, number 14. Gonna stop this thing up. A lot of pressure on Panucci right now. Clean things up at linebacker. We've got Ben Mason and VJ back there. There's the handoff, number 27 over the right-hand side. He cuts it back. Jason Conroy's there. Then uh, brought down by Jared Panucci after about an eight-yard carry, then maybe nine. Boy, the second half, they're deciding to feature their number 27 running back. Yeah. He is uh, hes a good running back, that's for sure. Got vision. He's got speed. Size. He's not a small kid. third quarter that's been full of action. It's 22 to 20 right now. North Middlesex with the lead and the ball. Number two calmly strides under center. There's a snap, the handoff over the right side. 27's got some room to run. He's out outside, Zupan's in pursuit. He's pushed out by uh, oh. BJ Gemolaro and the flag comes in for a late hit. I'm not sure if that was a late hitter. Kid just kind of stepped out at yeah. the last minute and then and got a small push and went into a fence. That's unfortunate. So that'll uh, push it way back to about the 12-yard line. First down for North Middlesex. From the 12. Number 18's back in the I formation. There's the up back, gets the handoff on the counter. Jake Kajander can't get, bring him down. Mason's in pursuit. Panucci tackles him at the two. Saves the touchdown there. You see all these guys getting up slow today. Yeah. <laughs> it's cold weather. <laughs> that grind is a little harder when yeah. it's cold. First and goal from the two yard line now for the uh, Cowboys. You see Dan McGrath back in. He was uh, out for a couple plays, a blow to the sternum. It's good to see him back. We need a negative yardage play here. Yeah. Oh, the snap, the handoff to 89. Looks like he plunges in for the uh, touchdown. Makes it 28-20. This offensive line is just getting a push right now. Yeah. Going for two again. Right now the score is 28 to 20. If I were the Cowboys, I would make it, I would go for one, make it two scores. I think they believe in the kicker. Boy, what a big <laughs> leg. Right? Holy smoke. <laughs> so now it's 30 to 20. Cowboys kicking right to left to, the, to your Reading Rockets. There's the boot. It's over Conroy's head. Could get out of bounds. 
It's able, Connery got a hand on it, knocked it out at the 33. Rockets ball. That's one of those where you intentionally, unintentionally knock it out of bounds. <laughs> Pushed it in the right direction. All right. Rockets keep the ball. Some of those kickoffs can be a real adventure. Yeah. That ball bounces in a funny way. So we're behind the pole right now? No, we'll, we'll be good. Rockets desperately need a touchdown drive here. Yeah. Down 10, still a third quarter. Mason and Jim Malaro in the backfield right now. Fumble. BJ picks it up after the initial fumble. He's scrambling right now. He's dropped for a big loss on the play, maybe eight yards. Mason in with the play call. Need to avoid negative yardage plays. It makes that uh, ground and pound offense much harder. The oh. snap is high. Ben's, no, the ball is loose. Cowboys have it. We missed that on the screen. Pole was in the way. Unfortunate. Snap went, snap went up high. Ben couldn't corral it. And the Rockets go back to defense. Well, this has the potential of getting out of hand here if we don't uh, turn it around. All right. First down, Cowboys. Snap to two. They're feeling it right now. Oh, Dan McGrath brings down number 89 initial, uh, with the initial hit. That was the same play as the uh, touchdown play where uh, the quarterback runs down the line, hands it to 89, plunging straight ahead on a, a dive. Oh. Lorenz is coming off right now, number 24. Looks like we had a flag on the play against Redding. Not sure what the call was. Looks to be offsides. They gave him five yards. First and five now. Looks like we may have ten guys on the field. Yeah, Coach Geiger saw that. Probably a good time for a timeout there. I think so. First and five now. Rockets out there with a full compliment on defense. There's the snap. Number two, he pitches it to 27. It's chased. BJ's there as well as, uh, I think it was that Evan Long, and they bring him down for no gain. Nice coverage on the option play. Brings up second down. Second down now in uh, three. Fumble here would be very welcome. All right. Number two under center. They take care of the ball. There's a snap, the handoff to the deep back, 27. He cuts it across the middle. He's popped there by uh, Mason and, and Panucci, but he got first down yardage. The ball is down at the one yard line. That's, end of, well, that's the end of the third quarter. Um, it did not go the Rockets' way. They entered with a with a lead in the ball, and they're down 10 points as we go to the fourth quarter with their backs against the one-yard line. First and goal here for uh, North Middlesex on the one-yard line as we start the fourth quarter. There's a snap, the handoff to 89 on a counter, and he busts in for the touchdown. The trap play, no one home in that gap. No. So, makes it 36 to 20. 
it's still two possessions if we can block this extra point. The snap, the hold, it's blocked. BJ flashed in there, Jake Kajander, Ben Mason. So uh, keeping the score 36 to 20, there's an injured rocket down in the field. All right, uh, North Middlesex getting set to kick off the Reading Rockets here. 36 to 20 is the score early in the fourth quarter. Back deep is uh, BJ Gemilaro and uh, Evan Long. Panucci in the middle there, number eight. Ray needs to be ready to kick, uh, field this kick. There's the kick at the squiver up the middle. BJ falls, or, um, I'm sorry. Jared Panucci started to fall in it, but then BJ grabbed the ball and they whistled the ball dead at the 32-yard uh, line. So wide offense for Redding will come on in here. Zach Barbo, 70. Lucas Lorenzo, 24, come in on offense. Panucci taking the play call from Coach Geiger. Panucci and Gemilaro are in the backfield. There's a snap to Panucci. Goes over right tackle. Follows a block. Ball's on the ground. Rockets recover. Gain of three on first down to the 35. Second down and seven for the Rockets. Mason and Jim Lauer in the backfield. There's a snap to Ben Mason. He takes it over right tackle. A great run of six yards down to the 41-yard line. Brings up a third and maybe call it one or two. Mason Gemilaro, Hammond split out wide right. The snap went through BJ's hands. He fell in it, but that brings us into fourth and 10. Fourth and long for the Rockets, fourth and 11. Big play here for the Rockets. Over the left-hand side, meets the man and stays on his feet, spins away. He won't get first down yardage, about seven yards on the carry. And it's a Cowboys ball. Cowboys split two wide receivers out wide right. Number two's under center. The run to 27 on the counter, he cuts it up the middle. He's still on his feet. He's going to go in for a touchdown. The Cowboys are wearing down the Rockets here in the second half. The numbers are getting thin for the Rockets. Yeah. Eligible players, the hits are taking a toll. And they're the Cowboys, the aggressors right now. So it makes it 42 to 20. The kick is up. No good. Wide to the right. North Middlesex ready to kick off. Reading here, 42-20, the lead. 
Evan Long and BJ Gemolaro back deep. There's the boot. Christian Trager can't handle it. Evan Long picks it up. He's got a blocker out in front of him as he pulled down by uh, the back of his jersey at the 27-yard uh, line. Two-minute warning here in the game. Second half, half has not gone the Rockets' way after they uh, played an impressive first half. Rockets uh, break the huddle. First and ten. Two minutes remaining in the game. There's a snap. BJ takes it over right tackle. And he's met there. Rockets not getting quite as much of a push on the offensive line at this point. No. Missing an awful lot of skill players. Brennan De Silva, Colin DeRoss both hurt right now. Dan McGrath. You know, here he got hurt uh, a couple minutes ago, so he's out for the rest of the game at least. Yeah, it's a, it's a numbers game at this point, and we're not winning. That's right. Nice run. Makes a move. He's still on his feet. Nice run. Jared Panucci. But with that being said, you got First guys like carry. Jared stepping up and Evan Long and, yep. and BJ, and these, these guys get an opportunity, and they've looked good. Which is good as the Rockets prepare for the playoffs to have uh, multiple options. Right. I feel like they're not able to show all their playbook right now. But uh, Ben Mason carrying it over on the left-hand side. He's met there. There are a lot of, a lot of Cowboys on that play. They weren't uh, well blocked on the right side of the line, or the left side. I think this is the last play of the game, is from what I'm hearing. Well, with this loss, your Reading Rockets are going to fall to four and two. North Middlesex moves to five and one. Pass by Ben Mason. It's a beautiful spiral. Matt Hammond was triple covered. Still got a hand on it. Very well thrown. All right, well. Your final score is 42 to 20. We'll be with Ac Acton Boxborough next week. Wait for another good game. We'll see what uh, coach can patch together in terms of uh, available players. Hey, uh, it was a gutty performance yeah, by the Rockets. Yeah, absolutely. They uh, um, they fought hard that first half. They had a couple of super long drives, but when they started to uh, fumble the ball a few times, that uh, turned the momentum in the Cowboys' favor. Yep. Hopefully it'll be a week of healthy recovery and That's right. you know we get some of these guys back next week. Well, signing off, this is Josh Blumenshine on play-by-play -play with Adam Hooker on camera. Thanks for watching.